Yeah, Ralph, he was obsessed with things being rough. Do you yes. think that maybe brilliant things are you only can be done one time? Yeah, like just how, how do you mean? I, don't, I, 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 I think if you had a brilliant recording of a song, like um, say, uh, what's, an, what's a good example of? I don't know. Of just something that really captured a moment. Um, oh, yeah, 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 I think it'd be like, I mean, like saying, saying like, I feel love or something. Yeah, yeah, or, or yeah it, 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 I don't think that's really. I don't, I don't think, think, well. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think that you could actually recreate that. Like, if it's once it's perfect, that's like because the fact it's perfect isn't because it's all in the right place. It's because of all the things that are wrong with it that all add up to make it sound so right. But do you maybe that that maybe then describes your music also because now everything is so cleaned up musically and art-wise, and that maybe you leave these parts in, that maybe distinguishes you from the rest? Yeah, and um, Jeff was obsessed with this. Yeah, he, Jeff uh, actually wouldn't let us do good takes. Uh, <laughs> he'd, well, <laughs> he'd choose the worst one. Um, it, yeah, he would, like, Jeff, because Jeff's just from a hip-hop background, and he's used to, like, things being quite crusty, like, badly rough. loose. Yeah, rough. He was yeah. obsessed with things being rough. Um, like, if you recorded something perfectly, he'd, he'd like, have it. And, but if it didn't have, he'd always look for that special magic. And if you listen to it technically, you're like, well, but that's that's not right. This one's better. It's like, but that that's the one that sounds the best. And everyone else would come in if like, if like it was you playing it, for example, and go, yeah, that one sounds better. It's like it's called <laughs> Pro Tools, bro. The super cleaned up version. You can do things that you would never ever do as a live band. You know, you cut you cut out bits of the track and yeah, and make you everything bang on. Yeah. And, and it just Metallica do it. And it's just it's, everything. It's wrong. The, they think um, <laughs> we do it. They'll, I think Lars Ulrich does his, um, his drums mm -hmm. and then he goes through and he just chooses the best drum sound from, he'll choose one kick sound that he really <laughs> likes and then they'll go through and they'll line up every single kick right on the dot and then they'll put the best kick sound. So you end up with this really weird, I mean it's completely unreal, it's, it's completely false and, but you know, I guess it works for them or whatever. But that's completely against the, you know, organic, exciting feeling we're trying to. Across. Yeah, the human mind like is it's, it's just meant to like um, if you hear something that's perfect for like any length of time, you quickly zone it out and you can't hear it anymore. If you hear a fan, for example, like, you know you hear a fan going through and the fan's really annoying, and like two seconds later you can't hear it because it's perfect. It just zones it out because like nature isn't perfect, so it just completely disregards it. You're, yeah, your brain you, exists. You, you, you can't find any love for anything that's perfect. There's no love there at all. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's unnatural. Mm -hmm. Your brain exists in organised chaos. It's, it, that's how it works. It, it's, it's not a perfectly running machine. It's, it's kind of just about... It's, it's actually a slightly broken down machine and it's far from perfect. I think uh, perfection is... A bit, it's, that's, why, that's why things sound so cold and clinical and, and boring. I'll try to look for that in the album. Just one <laughs> last thing. <laughs> Can I just ask you... Uh, maybe I give this one to you. The idea for the, uh, the art work is... Uh, it what wasn't. Was the story behind it, it wasn't so much an idea. It was um, all the artwork and the the back one and the and the front and all the pictures inside were all Polaroids that we took when we were touring our last album, and I think they're just they were just great moments. And it was kind of you know the album was about exciting moments and you know about love and about you know um, I don't know capturing you know capturing that moment. We felt that you know what better way to do it than that. Same as in the music. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it makes it makes perfect sense if you listen to the record and look at that. It <laughs> just it just makes sense. So there's, there's no real reason to have to worry or explain that at all. It just works. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you.